Let's learn now how to edit MIDI data in detail. Let's say that I want to edit my bass part. So if I tap on a region and I select Edit and Show in Editor, this will bring up the Piano Roll Editor. You can make the window bigger or smaller by just dragging the top of the window up and down. And here I can zoom in and out with the usual pinch gesture, both vertically and horizontally. Here I can look at two different layers. The note layer, which is accessed by this icon here, or the automation layer. Let's start with the MIDI note layer. Here I can trim a note by simply selecting the trim tool and then grabbing the two handles at the end and at the beginning of the note. I can also move the note up and down by changing the pitch and of course changing their position. The snap grid is set up here. I can select it to automatic which again changes the grid resolution depending on the zoom level I'm in, which I find usually a good option. Or if I want to choose my own grid value, I'm going to turn off the auto and just select my value here. I can also choose not to snap to grid. In this case, I'll be able to move and trim notes freely. What about if I want to change the velocity of a note? I'll be using the velocity tool right here. With that engaged, when I tap on a note, if I swipe my finger on the note up and down, I'm going to change the velocity. Again, I need to select the note and then I'm going to move my finger up and down in order to change the velocity of that note. Remember that I can use the multi-select tool to select multiple notes. And at that point, with the velocity tool selected, I'll be able to change the velocity of all the selected notes. Of course, here I can also insert new notes with the pencil tool. So I can just tap anywhere to insert a new note. Of course, if I want to delete a note, you're going to just tap on it again with the pencil tool. So again, if I tap anywhere, I'm going to insert a new note. If I tap again with the pencil tool enabled, I'm going to delete it. The brush tool allows me to input several notes in one stroke. So that's useful if you want to quickly set up, for example, a hi-hat pattern. And the resolution of the brush is going to be set here. It's based on the snap value. So I'm going to undo this. So as you can see, the editing tools are very, very powerful. They allow me to do many things in the MIDI domain that can be very useful to your productions.